Some interesting stuff recently happened with Sony and we're going to dive into two of those stories on this episode. First up, Eric Scales, a person who went under the name Black Cloak 13, was facing a lawsuit late last year from Sony. Reading the complaint from Sony, the defendant is an individual who marketed, sold, and distributed jailbroken PS4 consoles that A, contain pirated, unauthorized copies of PS4 compatible video games, and B, were produced and designed for purposes of and or were marketed by the defendant for use in circumventing technological protection measures. So this man was selling modded jailbroken consoles loaded with PS4 games for people to purchase directly from him. He ran adverts over on eBay such as the one on screen right now which promotes the sale of jailbroken PS4 consoles with 64 full games for $500. Now fast forward to last week, Sony has fined Eric for $20,300. Reading from Technadu, while Eric Scales used a multitude of channels to promote the selling of pirated PS4 games preloaded in jailbroken PS4 consoles, Sony decided to be reasonable and only account those found in the defendant's website, so that's $800 per console. He will be called to pay $1,600 for the two consoles that were on offer on his website and another $200 per pirated games. Unfortunately for Scales, there were 76 titles on the website's game list. Finally, Sony also includes $3,500 for judicial costs so that's a total sum of twenty thousand three hundred dollars sony is clearly trying to make an example of eric scales as i'm sure there are plenty of others doing the same thing right now i guess eric just had really bad luck after reading this i started to wonder if this had any relation to the ps4's lack of features for update 6.0 and 6.50 now this is just a thought but could sony have attempted to be proactive with fighting job breaks instead of just releasing patches as new exploits arise I'm not really well versed in the jailbreak scene. Could these two major updates have been secretly a focus on this fight? I'm not really sure. But all in all, this is a lesson that should frighten many of those out there who still do sell modified PS4 consoles. Next up, the PS4 PSN refunds. As we all know, Anthem, the game, hasn't really had the best start with many issues hitting PS4 players and the overall game itself not really being what the developers promised. Players who purchased the game were not okay with this and many have requested refunds from sony now remember sony doesn't have a refund policy for games purchased on psn but it seems many over on reddit have confirmed that they were able to easily get refunds for anthem as reddit user sound and fury 87 states sony is aware of the issue and is offering a complete refund on anthem no questions asked took me five minutes but it seems that not everyone was as successful as another user states i tried with sony support chat and was refused a refund so this doesn't seem to be working for most of us so it's a toss-up right now if you have a digital copy of anthem on ps4 and want to return it i suggest giving sony support a call but do you think the ps4 jailbreak issues have any relation to update 6.0 or 6.50 let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button it really supports the page and i really appreciate it and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every other day except is there something a really interesting and i'll just post a video on that day i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate incinerate and destroy the comment section with give me the money because this whole episode has essentially been focused on money either sony taking money from a player or sony refunding money to players so this whole episode the whole theme here has been money so destroy the comment section with give me the money and and I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.